Today I am going to share with you an app that generate QR code and then send out the QR code by email. Let's see what the app does. First, the app is starting with a group QR code type. Like business card, event, plain text, website and Wi-Fi. The next section is the information that we would like to embed it in the QR code. The data input is depending on the selection of type. Such as business V card. The data input will be name, contact number, email, organization, followed by job title, birthday, address and website. Next, the event type. We have title, description, location, start date time, followed by end date time. Next, plain text type, we have a text as input. Next, the website type, we have a website input. The last one, the Wi-Fi type. We have authentication mode, SSID and password. Next to the input section is the QR code preview. And followed by a sent to entry. This is to enter the QR code's recipient email address. So for this app, we just have one form to work with. Let's check out the data. The first one is the type column. The type column is declared as an enum type. And with all the QR code type as value. Set the initial value as plain text, so the plain text will be selected by default. Next is the data entry for the business vCard. We have name, contact number, email, organization, job title, birthday, address and website. I won't go through one by one, as it is nothing special, but just declare the column to its corresponding type. The only thing that I would like to highlight, the show condition. This group of the column only will be shown. If the type equal to bus in is vcard. So please include this show condition for all business vcard column. Next group, the event type. It consists of title, description, location, start date, start time, end date and end time. With a show condition of type equal to the event, please apply this show condition to all event column. Next group, the plain text type. There is only one input, the text column. With a show condition of type equal to plain text. As we may use this function to convert another barcode to QR code so I enable the scannable function. Next, the website type. I share the website entry with business vcard. So the website column with a show condition of type equal to the website or equal to the business vcard. The last one, the Wi-Fi type. It consists of authentication, SSID and password. The authentication is a enum type with value of none, WEP, WPA, or WPA2, and with a show condition of type equal to Wi-Fi. Next, the send to column, declare as email type. Next is the most important column for the app. These five columns storing the QR code image. So these five columns will be declared as image type. Let's check the text QR code column. This column declares as image type, with a show condition of type equal to plain text. And with an app formula, which getting the QR code from barcode.tech-it.com website. The formula is actually getting a QR code which generates from the web. By replacing our data value with the data column name. Like this, we encoded our column name with N and brackets. So the generated QR code is embedded with the data of text column. I will include this link in the video description, so you may copy and paste to your app sheet. Next, the vCard QR code column. This column setting is similar to the text QR code column, 
The only difference is the show condition and the app formula. Repeat the same step for URL QR code, Wi-Fi QR code and the event QR code. Alright data is ready, let's proceed to the user interface. We only have one form view in this app. Set the view name, data source from QR code, set the view type as form and the position at center. And enable the auto reopen option. So we will always loop back to this view. Lastly, set the display icon. The view is completed and ready. Let's proceed to beautify the app in the brand section. Like changing the theme, primary color, app logo or launch image. Lastly, the header and footer. Set the starting view under the options section. While let the other as default, or you may further customize according to your need. Do you notice that, the button here is not a save button. To change the button name, we can do it under localize section. Find the save button, and change the value. Next, configure some workflow, to handle email function. There are 5 workflow is created, each of them sending different type of QR code. Some setting is same, so we may just configure one, and duplicate for the other. Set the rule name. And the update event is ads only. Then set the condition as, type column equal to plain text, and sent to column is not blank. So this workflow will be triggered, if sent to is not empty, and the selected type is equal to plain text. Let's continue to set the action. Set the reaction as send an email, enter a name for the action, and enter the sent to column as the email recipient. Set the email subject. Include column value by enclose the quorum with angle quotes and brackets. Then set the CC, normally I will set this as my email, so that it will send me a copy. Last thing, the email body template. Here is where we set for the email body. We may create the template via up sheet. Or we may link it to our preset template, a docs file. Let's check out the content. The content is the text QR code. The workflow is ready. Now we may duplicate the workflow by clicking the copy button. After duplicate, change the rule name. Then change the condition. Lastly, amend the email content. Repeat the same step for the other three workflows. Number 1, change the rule name. Number 2, change the condition. Number 3, change the email content. One thing I would like to highlight, the pre-header. If you don't need the pre-header in the email, you can't just delete it. 
but you should replace it with a space. Only then the preheader will gone. Next, share with you the auto created email body by F sheet. This is the default content that auto created by F sheet. It listing all the contents in our data sheet. But we just need send the QR code, so we need to remove the other. Everything is ready. Don't forget to save and verify data. Let's send the QR code and check how does the email look like. Here is the email that we just sent. The QR code actually is an image file. We have convert everything for today. Thank you.